This is awesome! That was sick! Okay, this place is a hill climber's dream. <laughs> Welcome to Hill Climb Tips and Tricks with Megs Brat. As promised, I'm going to give you guys some tips to help get you better at hill climbing. I had the privilege of riding with Corey Grafunder down in California pretty recently. This place was chock full of steep hill climbs. We're going to break down some of these hill climb attempts and talk about what to do and what not to do. You'll notice I'm on a two stroke in some clips and a four stroke in others. This is because I smashed the throttle housing on the TX300 part way through the day and had to go grab the FX350. In this video, I'm going to talk a lot about two major aspects of hill climbing. Number one will be clutching, and number two will be body movement on the bike. Doing both these things properly will help make those steep, loose hill climbs a lot easier. It could be the difference between making it to the top and not. So here, I'm taking a run at a very long, sandy hill. I'm going to be using my clutch on the steep sections to keep my front end down, and also to keep my RPMs up when I start to lose momentum. I'm going to show you an example of where I let off on the throttle instead of feathering my clutch when my front tire started to come up. This very short moment of me letting off on the gas caused me to lose enough momentum that I didn't make it up the hill. Now I'll try it again, but making sure I'm holding it wide open and using my clutch when I need to to keep the front wheel down. Some of you probably noticed that I geared down from 4th to 3rd part way up this climb. Depending on the length and the steepness of the climb, you'll probably have to gear down once or even twice on the way up to keep your RPMs high enough. You don't want to start bogging because that's when you start to get wheel spin or eventually a loop out. So the next thing to talk about is body movement on the bike. I talk about the importance of moving around on the bike all the time. It is now going to come into play for hill climbing. You can sort of control what your bike is doing simply by shifting your weight over the bike. If your front tire is starting to come up, you can lean forwards to bring it back down. If you feel like you're starting to lose traction, you can lean back to put weight over the rear tire. Okay, so just to recap, the key to successful hill climbs is maintaining your speed and momentum. In order to do that, we are going to use our clutch when we have to keep our RPMs up and to keep the front wheel down rather than letting off on the throttle. You may also need to gear down as you near the top of the hill. Again, you don't want your RPMs to drop too much or you will start to spin or loop out. We are also going to focus on shifting our weight back if we need traction or forwards to help keep the front wheel down when it starts to lift. These tips are a great base for learning hill climbs. I hope they were helpful to you and I look forward to breaking it down even more for those really technical hills in my next hill climb tutorial.